Typically when dealing with inequalities, you want to replace the inequality symbol with an equal sign and graph the line first. So, I need two points. I know that since it's in slope-intercept form that the y-intercept is 0, 5. Then using the slope equal to 2, I get the next point, 1, 7. Now with those two points, I can graph the line. Since it's greater than or equal to, that means I'm going to graph a solid line. Notice that in that first inequality, it's greater than or equal to. So there's the line. Now I need to shade a region since it's an inequality. To figure out which region above or below the line, I'm going to use a test point, 0, 0. And when we use that test point, we realize that the statement we get is false, so we shade above the line, not below the line because that contains 0, 0. Now we're going to move over to the next inequality. Again, start by graphing the line. So another equation in slope-intercept form, we know the y-intercept, then we can use the slope to find the next point, and now we can graph that line. Now when we go to graph it again, we have to check to see if it's solid or dashed. But since it's strictly less than, that means it's going to be dashed. See the strictly less than symbol? Now again, we have to shade a region. Using a test point, we pick 0, 0 again. And when we plug it in, we want to see if it's a true or false statement. So we plug it in, and what do we get? We get 0 less than 3, which is true. 0 is less than 3. And since it's true, that means we're going to shade the region that has the point 0, 0 on it, which is below the line, or to the right of the line. Now, the solution region is going to be that little spot that you see on our graph. And that's because that's where the two shaded regions overlap. Here's another graph for a better visual representation.